What's up guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And today I wanted to show you how to prevent Apple from using your data to advertise to you. Now, as you may or may not know, this has been quite a bit of a controversy. With iOS 14.5, Apple introduced a new tracking feature that enables you to choose if you would like to be tracked or not across apps in order for developers to provide relevant ads. So if you have seen this pop up before where you open an app and it asks you if you'd like to be tracked or not, that data is usually collected to provide relevant ads on the developer's app in order to provide a better user experience. Now, with that being said, Apple is also doing this. However, Apple does not prompt you within their applications, letting you know that they're using your data for advertising purposes as well. And I know there's a big difference because Apple, according to Apple, they don't collect this data and share it or sell it to another third party um, ad broker or data broker. Uh, but Apple is using your own personal data that you provided with your Apple ID to advertise in places like the App Store, for example. If you go here, you see there's an ad right there. That is an ad suggestion right there in the App Store. If we go to the news application and we scroll through the uh, news right here, you see that you'll find some ads here. Apple also provides ads in there as well so if we keep scrolling there you see a few ads and uh, they're not populating for some reason but that is a few ads right there within the news application here we go so let's go ahead and scroll down and there's an ad right there so apple uses your data and your information in order to provide relevant ads and again this is information general information like your gender your date of birth your location and things like that stuff that you provide when you create an apple id now if you don't want apple to use this data there's actually a way to turn this off and i'm going to show you how to do so now again as i mentioned the difference between apple and third-party developers according to apple is that apple isn't providing or sharing this data to a third party so anyway let's go into settings here let's head on over to privacy and what's interesting is this option is really hidden all the way at the bottom of privacy down here apple advertisement right there it is you can view app targeting information right here if you turn this off personalized ads this will no longer provide apple uh, the ability to use your information to advertise to you throughout their application. So if we head on over to view ad targeting, it shows you information that you've provided, as I mentioned, your date of birth, your gender, your location, the apps that you're being tracked across. As you can see right here, you have nine applications that have been right there, the games, the lifestyle, music, photos and videos, productivity, social networks, utilities, nine apps have also collected information. We have books, as I mentioned, also the Apple News. We also have additional information here. So segments that have been uh, actually targeted here is Apple News updates, CNN, Fox News. And again, this is to provide relevant ads, but if you don't want Apple to do this, what you can do is turn off personalized ads and this i uh, will tell apple that you don't want no longer your data to be used in order to provide ads now this doesn't mean you won't see ads it just means that you won't see relevant ads based on your uh, you know gender location etc so there you guys have it that about brings it into this video i wish apple will actually prompt users once you update to the latest version of ios to ask you if it's okay for them to use your data collected via the apple id to serve ads between or throughout Apple's ecosystem, but we'll have to wait and see. Maybe Apple will update that as well. Thank you for watching this quick video, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.